This is Kabul's airport on the 31st of August 2021. A few hours ago, the city became the official capital of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan. It was the last sanctuary for United States forces. Now they've departed. The Taliban has won the war and taken control of the airport. The runway seems almost abandoned. Just 24 hours ago, it was the scene of one of the largest airlifts in history. The American troops who just pulled pull out of the country a few hours ago have just left dozens of vehicles as uh, shoppers. These American shoppers just left over. We can see uh, lots of them around where I'm standing. And the Taliban are coming in and just I mean, checking, really ch basically checking what's going on and what do, we, what do they have. It's, a, it's really an amazing situation, quite surreal here where we are living. Afghanistan's new leaders have it all still to do. And the threat posed by their rivals, the Islamic State group, weighs heavily on the country. ما فکر میکنم امی پروژه دایش با خروج امریکا آرزو دارم که تمام شود. نه انشالله که عزیب بعد ما شاهد ما و شما شاهد این چوری یک صحنه های یک روزای نباشیم که بیشتر می بودیم. The surroundings bear the scars of combat and the American troops sabotaged equipment they couldn't bring with them. But the Taliban are confident. Among them, the man who's just announced that he's the new head of the airport. The Taliban may be in charge, but they're in charge of a country on the brink of collapse. After so many years of war and sacrifice, the challenges that await Afghanistan are stacking up.